Hey, this is Syax, aka KMB Comer, as uh, that's the name on my YouTube channel and my in game Minecraft name. Um, before I get started with the video, I wanted to say huge thanks to B00 for the shout outs. Uh, I've been working very hard on planning, helping him plan for uh, the creative server, and uh, I wanted to say thank you very much for those shoutouts and that's actually why I haven't produced any videos for a while because uh, I've been spending a lot of time getting ready for that and I can't share any details yet but I can promise you it's going to be very cool um, so as a means of kind of celebrating my almost 500 subscribers and uh, 20,000 video views I thought I would revisit kind of the first thing I ever did in Minecraft and that would be my piston actuated staircase down there um, and what I have here is kind of the granddaddy of that down there as you can see it's uh, nine blocks wide and still three blocks high the other one was five blocks wide but this has another additional cool feature that I wasn't quite sure was possible when I started building it but it turned out it was, so I'll show you what happens. And there you go. Instead of stairs, like that one, this one uses half slabs. So you can actually sprint up this giant wide staircase. Next I'll show the circuitry for this staircase. So it works much like the last one did, but you know, when I first started, I wasn't sure that I could get it to work um, because of the necessity to push one row of blocks, this one um, in particular. I needed to push it either out to or up to. And it turns out I ended up pushing it up to, but it really involved mashing a lot of pistons into a pretty tight area and trying to get them to not interfere with each other so these these first two rows here the first row of half slabs and the full blocks behind are uh, pushed up by these two rows of sticky pistons here and that's powered uh, from that line here these repeaters and then kind of ends up uh, getting powered that way um, now this piston here, this row of pistons, is part of the double piston extender, but it's timed in such a way that uh, th these torches powering this block doesn't interfere with that operation. So yeah, the next row up here, these blocks, that's what's pushed up by the double piston extender. So uh, this is a design by Pear Squirrel actually, and it uses this circuit here. Um, that's the timing circuit for extending and retracting the pistons. The power comes up uh, from this torch down this line, and it's uh, it's one of these uh, double piston extenders that kind of uses a bit of a weird behavior of pistons. But anyways, that's what pushes up uh, the, those blocks in the middle to get them up twice, and then the last couple rows, oops, I'll just get back up here. Uh, the row above that, which is here, is pushed from the back, pushed out, and then this row here is just rotated around. It doesn't need to be pushed at all. So uh, that ends up being five uh, piston tapes, I guess, making that all happen. So you have half slab, full block, half slab, full block, half slab. Uh, to get the staircase and then of course the timing circuit is pretty much the same as the other one um, the other staircase down there uh, just had to you know extend the amount of time the time delays and you know, I wasn't as worried about getting this compact I had more space to work with and it's just huge anyways so uh, yeah I wasn't too concerned about that so close her up and this design, actually, the reason I decided to tackle it is because one of my subscribers um, kind of requested it. And when I started, I wasn't really sure 
it could be done but turns out it was and uh, for those new subscribers um, I kind of wanted to explain uh, what you'll get from me in the future I am planning on starting my own LP um, and I kinda like to combine uh, form with function so for example I have my gatehouse there which is part of my castle build that I submitted to uh, BWO's build ink competition and uh, yeah I mean I, I like the way it looks uh, I tend to go for good aesthetics but then I also added all that redstone just to make it open in a cool way and when I play uh, survival that's kind of the things I like to do as well make it look nice and then do like unnecessarily complicated things with redstone so if you stick with me that's the kind of thing you can expect so thanks very much for watching